tricuspid regurgitation and you can clearly see the velocity is crossing 4 meter per second and would you guys be surprised that if i tell you there is no pulmonary artery hypertension really 4.5 meter tr velocity no P, uh, uh, ph yes that's what i'm going to discuss today and it's a good idea to subscribe the channel because i'll be keeping on posting uh, new videos and here you see the tricuspid regurgitation which is moderate to severe and then in the lower panel you see something interesting when i've zoomed this area now you see there is a jet of three or four jets coming from this place and the tr so what is this now now this is uh, the inter septum interventricular septum aneurysm which tried to close the ventricle septal defect and this is the small vsd is what you're getting and along with that you are getting a tricuspid or LV2 RA shunt, which I am going to explain you in my uh, subsequent slide. So please keep uh, hanging around. And this is what you see again. Uh, there is a, a kind of a jet into the right atrium. Fine. Where is the explanation? Yes, here it is. Now you look at this. Uh, uh, if we have uh, in, uh, the VSD, the tricuspid valve tries to close this VSD. So is the interventricular uh, septum producing a kind of an aneurysm but with the cause that many a times that the small defect left fine so small defect in the vsd and the and creating a vsd and a small defect in tricuspid valve would lead a channel which we call as an acquired gerbode defect from left ventricle to the right atrium so how does that explain the phenomena a normal tr would be from rv to ra and note the pressures Pressure in RA is 4 to 6 millimeter of mercury. Systolic pressure in LV is 120, even at a normal pressures. LV is normal, RA is normal, you would get more than 100 uh, millimeter of mercury gradient, that is about 5 meter per second uh, velocity. So that's what we were getting. This was not DR, this was a shunt from LV to RA, which was creating this gradient. Uh, RV, if the pressures are normal, does not create that kind of gradient. So whenever you guys get a high velocity jet uh, of the TR and uh, the RARV are not dilated, PA is not dilated, think about a Jarabade defect. Yes, I'll keep on giving you such ideas. Please subscribe the channel so that you get to know the new videos as and